of the argument and modulus of a complex number given a certain loci. So let's start this question here. The start's pretty easy. Um, we've got the complex number u equals 2 plus 2i. And the first question just simply asks us what is the modulus and argument. Okay, so the modulus of u, and I think it's always good to draw a diagram to get a feel for what's going on. So here's our uh, number u, that's 2, this is 2i, so the modulus, um, just using the formula, is going to be the square root of 8. The argument of u, again, we could use a formula, the argument of u is just the inverse tan of 2 over 2, um, but I can just see that on the diagram there the argument is going to be pi over 4. So formulas work, but it's really good to you know, have a look at it as well. Second part of the question says, sketch an argon diagram showing the points representing the complex numbers i, 1, i, and u. Shade the region whose points represent the complex number z, which satisfy both the inequalities. Okay, so we've got two inequalities there. Let's do each one of those. The first inequality is the modulus of z minus 1 is less than or equal to modulus of z minus i. Okay, so, so we know that this complex loci represents the perpendicular bisector between the point 1 and the point i. This is the imaginary axis and this is the real axis. Okay, so um, Two, three, one, two, three, etc. Okay, so yeah, this is what the distance from z, these, these points from one is less than or equal to the distance of these points from i. So the points that are exactly the same distance from those two, this is a nice easy one, it's just that line going at 45 degrees right through the middle there. So the perpendicular bisector of i and one, okay, that's what I've just drawn there. This would be much better if you had a ruler and a bit more accurate measurements. So that's what it is. So that's the red line there. Now the inequality sign here is just saying here the points have got to be closer to 1 than they are to i. So we're going to be shading, oops, wrong side. We're going to be shading this side of the line, the points that are closer to i than they are to 1. Okay, second inequality. Question says... Uh, the module z minus u is less than or equal to 1. Okay, so the point u was 2 plus 2i. So that is that point right here. It's actually going to lie on this line, isn't it? So that's the point u. We've got 1, we've got i. So we've got our labels for the second one there. And this modulus here says the set of points so that the distance from u is less than or equal to 1. So we know that that is a circle with a radius of 1. Again, having a compass here will make this look a lot nicer than what I'm about to do. But that is a circle radius of 1 centred at u. The inequality here just says the points are inside the circle. So the distance from u is less than or equal to 1. So we've got a solid circle and it's everything inside of that circle. Notice the question asks, what are the set of points that satisfy both the inequalities? So now we just need to look at our sketch and say what's below the line and inside the circle. So my final answer is going to be everything that I'm shading there. Okay. So you might want to do a sketch in pencil first to sketch both of those and then look at, okay, what's common to both? Uh, you might want to do that. So, or, or you, then when you do um, that in pencil, you can do what, what I'm doing here is rubbing out all the bits, and then you just end up with okay, the bits that I'm wanting to finish with is just that. Okay, so that's the that's the set of points. That half, that semicircle there, is a set of points that satisfies both inequalities. Now, part three. Part three says. Using your diagram, calculate the value of the modulus of z for the point in this region for which the argument of z is least. Alright, so for this one here, we'll change colour. 
I can now ask the question, given that set of points there, what is the value of the least value of the argument or the maximum value of the argument? Let's draw a few lines here. So the argument is all of the points that are lying on this circle. Um, so you can see if I choose a point over here, the argument I get would be that angle there. If I choose this point over here, the argument of that point there is this angle. You can see the argument's getting bigger and bigger. In fact, you can see that the smallest possible argument we could get is for this point right here, so that the line from the origin is a tangent to the circle. That is the least value of theta, the argument there. You'll know also from geometry that the tangent and the radius of the circle join up at right angles, and that's really going to help us to do this problem. You can also see, if we're just dealing with the circle, that the maximum value of the argument is this angle right here. So that's where this, the line there is a tangent to a circle at this point. Okay. So I'll just get rid of that one for now. Now, so we've talked about the argument, the minimum maximum value of the argument. What about the modulus? So we could, we could think of the same thing. Think of any point on the circle here and think, well, what could the modulus possibly be? So at this point right here, the modulus is just the length of that line. At this point right here, the modulus is just the length of that line. You can see we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger until we get to this point here. I think that one there is the biggest possible value we can get for the modulus or the length of all the points that are lying on the outside of that circle. Similarly, for the minimum possible modulus, I think it is this point right here. Okay, For all the points lying on the circle, that length there is the minimum possible value we could get for the length of Z of all the points on the circle. Now if we're just combined to, combined to, confined to the points that are on this um, semicircle, which this question is talking about, now let's uh, say, well, what is the least possible argument? What's the least possible modulus? Let's answer all those questions, then I'll get back to what the question actually asks. So let's deal with the argument first. Um, we know that we know this angle here is 45 degrees, or, or 5 or 4. I'll deal with degrees for now. So how can we find what that angle is? Well, let's look at this right angle triangle right here. And we know something about that right angle triangle. We know that this length here is 1 because it's the radius of a circle. We know this length here is root 8 because we've worked that out. That's the modulus of u. Therefore, we can both work out what the other length of this other side is, which is root 7, and we can calculate what this angle in here is. Okay, so just looking at that triangle, the triangle, writing a triangle here, we're trying to find this angle here, we know that's 1, we know that that's root 8, we know that that is root 7. So, I would say, sine of that angle is 1 divided by root 8. So if I get my calculator out, 1 divided by root 8, and the inverse sine of that number there gives me 20.7 degrees. Okay, so I know that that shaded angle there is 20.7 degrees. I know that this whole angle is 45 degrees. So subtracting those two gives me that this angle here, theta, is 24.3 degrees. That is the smallest possible value for the argument of Z given those points. Now, let's um, talk about the modulus now. Um, oh, and by the way, if the question did say, and we're dealing with the whole circle, what's the maximum value of the argument? we're talking about that angle there. And you can see that from the symmetry, it's just 45 degrees plus that angle that we found before. So you can use the symmetry, so diagram here is just absolutely essential. Okay, let's talk about the modulus. Minimum and maximum values of the modulus. Okay, we know that this is root eight. We know that this length here is one, that's the radius of the circle. So the minimum value of the minimum value of this is going to be 
root 8 minus 1. The maximum possible value we could get for the modulus of z, going back to the diagram again, is root 8 and then plus 1 here. So root 8 plus 1. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to answer the question, which says uh, calculate the value of the modulus for the point in this region for which argument of z is least. We've established that the argument of z is least when the angle is 24.3 and the modulus at that point is root 7. So the actual answer to the question is the square root of 7.